She's authored five best-selling history books for children, helping make America's past come alive to its young readers. Her new book, We the People, the Story of the Constitution, is in stores now. Joining us here in our New York studio, New York Times best-selling author, Mrs. Lynn Cheney. It's appropriate to say the second lady of the United States. Sure. It's weird. Well, it is a little, but it's okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much for being here. So let's talk about the book for a second, because this all takes place, I mean, it, you talk about what happened in 1787. And this is Constitution Week, you know, yes. and Wednesday is Constitution Day, and we're celebrating the 221st anniversary of this amazing document. Right. And you make the point, it's not just enough to have independence, but that you've got to have what you use the phrase, ordered liberty. You know, when we were uh, going through that period in Iraq, where the people of Iraq had been freed, but they were just having trouble getting their act together. I kept thinking back to uh, you know what America was like in our early days, and we had our freedom, but we couldn't get a government that was strong enough to uh, protect us and not so strong that we lost our liberty. You know, we have the big left-right thing going on in this country. I don't know if you're aware you of that. You and I do, that's uh, for yes, sure. Really. Yeah. Yeah, you used to host one of these type shows, too, by no, the way. No, never. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, but was it like it back then? What was it like? The dichotomy between the two sides back then was it as oh it was very it was, flying as much as it, it is was now. completely fierce. In fact, when the, I had a wonderful illustrator for this book, a man named Greg Harlan, and and you know we asked ourselves again and again, are these pictures too strong? Because the debates that were going on were quite fierce. Governor Morris was uh, you know threatening everyone that there would be war if they couldn't agree, and right. there was a huge debate over slavery. How did they of work it out? Because how did they work out getting that document? It took like eleven years to get it. The Constitution done. Well, right. you know, Benjamin Franklin played an absolutely crucial role, and one of my favorite pictures in the book is he was very old. He couldn't get to the Constitutional Convention, so four convicts picked him up every day Convict. and carried him in a sedan chair to the convention. But he was a wonderful moderator in terms of, you know, uh, just kind of counseling the delegates and saying, you know, uh, we should just seek divine guidance, perhaps. They didn't. They didn't stop and pray, but telling them that they needed to to think larger thoughts than the ones that were driving them to quarrel. Ms. Cheney, first of all, hey, great Sean. to see you. Congratulations it's great to on the see book. You. We Thank appreciate you. you being with us. You know, when, when, what I love about our framers and our founders is, especially the framers of our Constitution, they put in place the ability to right wrongs and correct injustices. Right there in the document. Right there in the document. You know, you, you couldn't have voted if you were a woman, of course. You mm -hmm. couldn't even have owned property when the, when the Constitution was framed. Uh, the country had slavery, of course, and, and right. the Constitution, as it was framed, did nothing to prevent that. But in the course of putting that document together, the framers made a way for us to right those wrongs. And we're seeing so this country, election. Oh, is this the most remarkable election? It's mm -hmm. just, this is a great time to teach kids about the Constitution. That's what you spent your whole program doing, is mm -hmm. arguing on the basis of the Constitution. I'm right and he's wrong. Well, uh, but by no. his own admission. <laughs> <laughs> but, but in all seriousness, uh, first of all, were you as surprised as a lot of people about the selection of Governor Palin? What Absolutely. Do you think I was completely yeah. surprised and just blown away by her convention speech. Mm -hmm. She, You see a lot of slick politicians. I've been around politics a long time. I've seen people who are really polished and, and careful and good. She was just excellent and kept that authenticity. Do you think she's being treated unfairly because Absolutely. she's a woman? Explain why. Well, I, has anyone asked um, Senator Obama if he perhaps is neglecting his children by spending too much time on the campaign trail? Uh, that's the kind of question that's put to Sarah Palin, and I think that's not fair. Mm -hmm. I also, you know, the, the, an even better comparison might be what happened to Joe Biden ever. Where is he mm -hmm. now? You know, with all of this attention. He's out there mm -hmm. screaming about uh, John McCain. Now, by the way, I, well, I I'm glad to know that he's still in the, can in the contest. There's so much uh, <laughs> uh, focus on trying to find fault and flaw in Sarah Palin. It is just quite remarkable. Now, by the way, the, there it is, We the People. I put it on my website, Hannity.com. It's a great book and a really great book you know, study for kids, and, and uh, thanks for being with us. We really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. I love being here. We really, now watch him on his radio show later. Uh, I'll do that, <laughs> and I'll watch you interview Sarah Palin. I will. Now, by the way, speaking of Governor Palin,